Hello YouTube and welcome to tutorial number 49 in the Microsoft Visual Basic .NET programming tutorials and this is a follow up of the previous tutorial where I'm going to show you how to click a button without an ID. Ok so if you followed the previous tutorial you should have this open right here. If you didn't and you just found this video by accident please click the annotation right here, watch that video first and then watch this one. Ok, so now I'm going to assume that you have all this open and you're ready to continue. So, first of all, what we're going to need to do is remove this list box, one of the items to add here. We don't need this anymore. And um, we can also delete the list box component. I'm going to change this button text to click button. OK, and what we're going to be using here is Facebook. Um, a common problem with people using VB.net, when they learn their get them by ID, they're trying to click buttons without an ID, they're trying to fill text boxes without an ID, they start getting confused. Here's what I'm going to help you. Now, if you view the source code, what we learned in the last tutorial is how to interact with HTML elements individually. Now, here, um, we can see that we have, where is it, the login. Right here we can have we see we can have uh, we have an element input and we have an attributes value name on click type and all our values here. So what we're going to do is first of all we're just going to well we already have our HTML element collection but that's what we'd normally do. But now we have the HTML element collection of the page and sorry we need to change this to Facebook.com. Now we have our HTML elements of the page, we can start looking at the source code and we need to pick an attribute to use. So value is going to be the most unique one on the page. So what we're going to do is use value. So we're going to just copy and paste this into a comment right here to easy use. And what we're going to say is when it loops through each element, we're going to say if web page element dot get attribute whoops and our attribute right here is value is equal to log in let me just make sure that is correct otherwise it won't work yeah just making sure then what we're going to do is web page element dot invoke member click. Now I don't have enough time to code all the, to fill in each text box and stuff so this is all I'm going to leave you with for now. It's probably going to say you need to fill in a name or password but you know this is just a test. So what I'm going to do is hit play or debug <coughs> and oh whoops sorry uh, what we need to do is navigate to the login page. I'm very tired right now sorry as I explained in a previous video And here we go. Now normally we won't be able to click this with get element by ID, but if we click this, there we go. Incorrect username. I didn't click it then, by the way. I just, I'll just click again to show you. Okay, so what we've basically done there is we've taken all of the HTML elements in the web page, which includes the button element or the imp it's not actually a button, it's input. And we've checked each checked each attribute um, value and we've looked at if the value of each of those elements so each of those attributes is login. And if it is login then we're going to click it. So um that was basically the tutorial on how to click a button without an ID and I apologize once again for this video being quite sloppy but I do not have a, a lot of time right now and you know it's, it's funny that when I do have a lot of time it's after I've not had any sleep I'm just really busy right now and doing some stuff so um, yeah that's why I, I haven't uploaded the video but here's two videos for you and I'm going to be uploading much more hopefully upload a few more before August and then August is when I'll start blasting them out so um, please 
comments on this video with any suggestions, any requests, any questions. Um, and rate this video and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys around.